Hi guys, welcome to my Saturday morning makes. Um, shout out to Jill Norwood for just uh, really starting this. And um, I love seeing where it's gone and seeing all the wonderful, wonderful things that are posted almost on a daily basis, which is really incredible. Anyway, I had every intention of posting this yesterday. But what was supposed to be a quick trip to Rhode Island, to the airport, and back home, um, ended up to be an all-day thing, uh, mostly because my husband's flight kept getting delayed. Unfortunately, the first delay came after I had already gotten on the road. So the good news is he is home and he was safe, and oh well, so much for delays. That's the way it works. Um, but anyway, I want to show you what I used and then I'll show you my creation for this week. I used this paper called Bring on Spring, the 6x6 matte stack from Queen and Company. And that actually came in this kit, um, which I bought from Queen and Company. Which, these kits, oh my goodness, they are wonderful. You have everything you need in here to um, make the projects that, that the kit features. This is the Easter one. So it has all these dies, the Peeps bunny, a little bunny head, a basket, and the foam, which is already cut out to make the shaker, and the little bits to put inside, plus your idea sheet. So... Um, kudos to them. I really have enjoyed playing with this kit. And again, the website is here on the bottom, Queen and Company, in case this is something that you are interested in. Uh, in addition to that, I also used heavyweight cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. I used my Happy Easter um, die from my, my Creative Time from Miss Emma. I used my Gina Marie, um, the outline, uh, the egg with the pretty outline, and I also used from Scrap Diva 29, I used her banner box, which again, this is a wonderful die, um, and I used my bow punch from Martha Stewart. This is a tried and true trusty, I love this thing, I tend to leave it out. And when I have little scraps of paper, I, sometimes I'll just punch them into bows and turn them into bows. Also use my little one-inch circle punch. And I was proud of myself. I remembered I have this, and I used this. <laughs> ah, which I always forget I have that. So what did I make? Here we are. I made an Easter box. Here's the Happy Easter from Emma's Cut and the bow from um, the Martha Stewart punch. You can see um, oh, the awesome shaker. I love it. And then you can see the foam on the side that comes with it all cut out. And you can see the Gina Marie, the shadow layer that I used. Um, so very fun. And then uh, I used the one inch punch to make a little notch. Um, when I make boxes, when I can, I like to line inside and out just to give them extra, extra durability. So this little box is just ready to go. Thank you, Erica, for such a wonderful die. Oh, I also used um, a grass die. I don't even know which one I used, um, but I wanted to put some grass around the edge. So... I don't know where I got that from. I think that might have come in that kit from Queen and Company. It was either that or a lawn foreign one. So, but I think it was Queen and Company. So I made that. Then I also got on the bandwagon with everyone else with the little pop-up cards. Guys, I just love this die. You can use this year round, obviously. But it really, it pops up and down so easily um, to put this in the mail. 
I just think this is adorable. Adorable, adorable. So, I'm just showing that quick. And that was it. I used the, um, where I used this was for the Thin Happy. Um, I started to use the glue and then I remembered, oh, you have the Xyron. And it's perfect for what, um, things like that, where you just put it in and it makes a sticker out of it. And you um, can cover it. So I did that. So guys, that's what I have. Uh, it's been a tough winter health-wise, but hopefully I'm back on the up and narrow and uh, you'll hear a lot more of me, see a lot more of my videos. And uh, I look forward to it. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please give me a thumbs up, a like, follow, all that stuff. I really um, comment. I love to read my comments and answer back. So thank you very much. I hope you guys have a great weekend.